with this specific deficiency. We, the deficiency or the nature of the deficiency, it is not necessarily the, during the can production, it is specific to the can filling process. So which then means that during the filling process, the cans were damaged and because they were damaged, then that has created some microscopic um, 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 incisions that we could not pick up at the time of filling. So we have now put controls in place, including the manufacturer has been requested to make sure that in terms of hazard control, the filling step it is one of the processes that needs to be reviewed and needs to be double checked with regards to the controls that are in place for their procedures to ensure that this is prevented going forward. In terms of the cans themselves, not every canned fish and fishery product that is currently in the market at this stage we are recalling. We are only recalling the specific cans that we have explained in the media release. And not every brand that is in the market for canned fish and fishery product that is currently affected. It is only the specific brands. So with regards to the wholesalers that are, or with regards to the extension of the process, of the products, it was not only ShopRite that was selling those brands. Many wholesalers do sell those brands. Hence, the focus is more on the brand, not on the wholesaler. So if we're looking at these products, we should look mainly on the brands. If I can again just um, articulate to the brands that we are talking to, it's Deep Cash, it's Mamas, it's OK House, and it's Prime Ocean, it's Spa, it's Sunny, it's ShopRite, a right brand, it's Cape Point, it's Checkers House brand, it's U brand, it's Saldana and it's West Point. So those are the only brands that are affected. Even on those brands, not all products of those brands we are recalling. We are only recalling the products that are starting with the marking ZST29 and ZSC29. Hence, we are saying with regards to the informal market, at this stage, NRCS is going to go, it's go, it's planning to get into the informal market and assist them and make sure that those specific brands are recalled. What instigated the investigation was really to find some leaking cans in the warehouses, not in the trade. In terms of food safety, any leaking can or any can that is rusted, it is the issue, it can compromise the safety of that product, which it can result to compromising the safety of the consumer. Therefore, we are putting, uh, we are being proactive by this recall to say, listen, because there is possibility that these cans down the line, two years, three years, they can leak, we are rather we rather recall them and they must not be in the market. Most of the formal market, which is the, 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 the wholesalers, the retailers, has already removed these products from their shelves. Currently, we're focusing on the informal market because this is where we need to make sure that these products are not in the informal market.